Hello friends, we are now up to a milestone of 500 S4 Mini shipped, which is phenomenal. So thank you so much to my customers for supporting me and making the S4 Mini now an actual success. <laughs> now this video is about the Noctua NHL9i, which is the best performing cooler all around for the S4 Mini and many small form factor cases. Now, if you wanna know the exact reasons why, you can always check out my YouTube channel and the small form factor forum, which we discuss in detail a plethora of heat sinks and their various benefits and negatives. For me and 95% of my customers, the choice always ends up being the Noctua NH-L9i, which is why I'm always found promoting it, despite the fact that Noctua has never sent me an email or even a t-shirt. Seriously guys, I'm waiting, where's my t-shirt? <laughs> now this video is even more specifically about properly installing your Noctua NH-L9i. It doesn't just apply for the S4 Mini, although the S4 Mini will benefit tremendously from a proper installation of this cooler. Now the first thing to know is this cooler is not actually square, nor is it symmetrically rectangular. It should only be installed one way in most motherboards. Now what you're looking for is the fins of the heatsink to run parallel with the RAM slots in this kind of motherboard configuration. If you were to have them perpendicular to your RAM, you'd be just dumping hot air into your first RAM module. Now in some mini ITX motherboards, they can get quite crowded. And this means the Noctua cooler can only be installed one direction without actually interfering with some of the gizmos and gadgets on these motherboards. The Asus Strix Z270i is a phenomenally popular motherboard for the S4 Mini, and many of my customers end up installing this incorrectly by accident. I wanted to show you that the proper installation, you'll see this cable down here pointing towards the RAM slots, and this allows the cooler to not interfere with the heatsink for the SSD module. So at the end of the day, there is actually only one orientation that will work with the Z270i Strix from Asus and possibly other mini ITX motherboards. Now that you have the proper orientation of this cooler, let's do something about this wire. You can actually remove the fan quite easily by unscrewing the top four screws. Noctua also provides a set of longer screws if you want to replace this fan with a thicker 25 millimeter version, which would not make it compatible with the S4 Mini before you ask. Now we can rotate the fan 90 degrees. Now the cable is pointing towards the PCIe 16X slot. And the best thing I found to do is actually to wrap it behind this heat sink right here. There's a channel that's almost exactly the same size as the cable and voila. Super clean, neat installation without your cable flopping around. Now there's one final thing that I want to show you. Again, the testing has already been done and proven and you can take a look at it at the small form factor forums, but I highly recommend removing this heatsink off the Asus Z270i Strix. Although the heatsink is mostly for decoration, it might actually provide some benefit if you were running a tower cooler, but for these small form factor coolers, it's just not a good fit. But again, don't take my word for it. You can see all the testing and temperature gains on the smallformfactor.net website. That's it. Thank you for watching. I know it was a short video, but I just wanted to help share with some of my customers who are having difficulty installing this cooler or wanted to get the best possible temps out of it. Also, it wouldn't hurt to start a campaign to have Noctua send me a t-shirt. So hashtag send Josh a Noctua t-shirt. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.